All right, 49ers instant reaction. I don't think anybody's surprised. That was a light practice without pads as the 49ers work back into things here at the facility following preseason week one, heading into preseason week two. But training camp is still ongoing. No game planning right now for the 49ers. Brock Purdy was uh, connected with George Kittle today. I mean, through the 85 over and over and over again. A lot of catches for George. Some really good battles with Charvarius Ward, including one George wasn't quite able to get both feet in bounds near the sideline. Good physical coverage from the 49ers all-pro corner. Late in practice, they tried to go to Jacob Cowing on the deep pass, and Diameter Lenore blanket coverage did not let Cowing get away from him on the goal ball, and he intercepted Brock Purdy's pass right at the goal line. A little bit earlier, Jacob Cowing, they ran him on a jet sweep. I think that play, if Cowing can stay healthy, could be very effective. He was the fastest receiver in the draft over uh, the first five yards of the 40-yard dash. So Cowing back from the hamstring injury, he can be a burner for the 49ers. Thought it was really interesting. 49ers had most of their first team defense out, out there. Uh, Along the front line, that defense is relatively healthy. It's uh, a little bit further down where some of the injuries have, have taken their toll here over camp. But except for the safety position, you had essentially all the starters. Obviously, Dre Greenlaw uh, is still on that pup list. But they ran Jalen Mahoney, the undrafted free agent out of Vanderbilt. He got some run with the first team at the very start of practice. Can't wait to ask Kyle Shanahan to see what that's all about. And today, uh, Danny Gray is still in the blue non-contact jersey. I think it's a shoulder issue. One thing that I'm noticing from Danny Gray is he's definitely put on muscle. Obviously, run blocking has been the question for Danny Gray. Can he do that? Can he add that onto the speed package? Well, if he can, then he's got a much better chance of making this 53-man roster. I can say, because I, I've seen Danny Gray up close now, uh, he is stronger than he was before. All right, so that's uh, the quick little rundown from 49ers practice. Got to head to the Kyle Shanahan press conference, and right after that, we'll update you more fully from Levi's Stadium.